this is a network graph and it shows all my Facebook friends uh, and each of these little dots in this graph represents a person and each of the lines that connect the dots means that these people are friends so all these people in this graph are my friends uh, but a line between different people mean that those two people are friends between themselves uh, dots on their own mean they're not friends with anyone else out of my friends um, I can have a look at who the people are by turning the names on uh, and for example, let's zoom in a bit this person here, Paul and this person here, Mark I know that they're going to be friends because they both work at the same place I work um, Lisa's probably both their friends oh no, well Lisa works where I work but she's only Paul's friend, she's not Mark's friend um, now it's a bit messy like this to see who's friends with who is quite hard. So what I can do is sort these out into groups of people who are friends. Here we go. Let's turn the names off for now. There we go. So now we can see all the different groups of people. So a group of people down here who are friends, a group of people up here big group here, big group here, and then these two groups are connected by this person. And there's also an algorithm we can run over all the, these connections that detects what communities they belong to. So I can colour code them. There we go. By I've run a I've run an algorithm which I'll put the link to in the description of this video that colour code the different people depending on what community within my community of friends they think they belong in so that's a bit confusing but if I turn the names on I can see that these people in this purple colour are all people that I currently work with these people in this pinky colour are all high school friends let's go up here a bit now these look like they're all one big community but the algorithm says these people are slightly different to these people and that's probably true because even though they're all connected these people are my wife's family and these people are my family and you can see here in the centre my wife kind of joins the two together um, and she also joins these two to, together with this group and this group are people who I used to work with which is where I, where I met my wife so it makes sense that she's friends with lots of these people in the middle there's like a, lots of groups of just kind of two groups actually that link everyone else together and these are people who live near me in this greeny colour who I was friends with um, they might have lived on my street or a few streets down and these people seem to know a few of my family and a few people I used to work with um, they don't really know people I work with now uh, and these people here are college and uni friends and we can also colour code them other ways, so maybe by uh, by the sex they are. So let's make there we go. Let's make girls pink, boys blue, and anybody who's not got their sex set in Facebook green. So now you can kind of this is kind of a neat neat way of seeing what kind of sex make up different communities. And so these are all boys, which makes sense because I did a computing degree and uh, I did computing at college and it was very male dominated at the time. I don't know if that's still the case, but computer science it was definitely more males than females. Uh, down here, school friends kind of a mix. Being a boy, I probably had more boy mates than I did girl mates, so that makes sense. Uh, work, slightly, probably slightly more boys are working in kind of a computer related subject, maybe that's why there's a few more boys, it's a shame that this isn't a bit more even. Uh, now you used to work in a clothes shop, and I don't know if that's the reason for there seem to be more boy, girls than boys where in this group of uh, people I used to work with, and it also seems like the girls have got themselves in a group together and the boys have got themselves in a group together, so maybe where I work girls and boys kind of separate themselves out, although they do, there are, you know, they do cross over. Um, 
and then this is a mix because family is just you know mixed <laughs> um, and so the other thing we can do is make uh, some of these dots bigger depending on um, what's called between a centrality so I'll have a go at doing that now wow that's uh, made one very big let's try it. Let's try again. There we go. So, uh, sorry, just put some numbers in here. Let's see if this. Uh, no, I think this is the best we're going to get. So now. Wow, so what this has done is this has taken, let's, um, there we go. This has made dots big when it creates short access to, between my other friends. So, uh, I'll put a link in the description to this about what it's actually doing, but basically it's ranking all the dots on the graph uh, it's giving them a score and the score is made up of how many shortest paths between friends goes through that person so <laughs> that's a bit hard to explain but people in this group might know people in that group and the quickest number of lines to get to that person might be through Samantha and if it is then Samantha gets basically a point and the more points she gets the bigger she is and so by being big on this graph, it means she's kind of a gatekeeper between friends and she's a good person to know to quickly get access to another friend. Um, Tom, uh, he went to college and uni with me. So he he's a gatekeeper probably between my college friends and my uni friends because some people only went to college, some people only went to uni. Uh, Sean seems to... Ah, because he's friends with Tom... A lot of my friends um, from school to school, if I remember correctly, can quickly jump through him and then Tom to get to access to this group through Sam, because Sam also knows Sam, so he's a bit of a gate. Knowing Sean would help uh, get to know these people quicker. And finally, this person here is one of my old tutors, uh, and these are people I work with. Um, and the reason knowing one of my old tutors might get you to know people I work with is because I now work at the place where <laughs> I was taught so um, that makes sense that he knows a lot of my college friends because he probably already taught he taught them as well 